Maybe Lewis Carroll wasn't high when you wrote Alice in Wonderland, but I know some people who are high when they saw the movie. <laughs> hey, everybody, this is a quick video about whether or not famous author Lewis Carroll was on drugs when he wrote stuff like Alice in Wonderland and Jabberwocky. And the reason I'm thinking about this is because decades ago when I was in high school, after we finished reading Jabberwocky, remember we read that in, uh, I guess it was my ninth grade English class, and reading is probably the wrong word. I think staring at it might be more accurate. Our class's goofball burnout asked really loudly, was that dude on drugs when he wrote this? Now, my oversensitive English teacher, she seemed shocked by the question. She responded really quickly, no, 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 people didn't take drugs back then. <laughs> the thing is, I believed her. Now, a few years later, I learned about opium. I mean, not firsthand, but, you know, I learned about it. I feel gullible for believing my ninth grade English teacher, but I've been gullible most of my life. It took several writers' conferences where literary agents claimed that they'd get back to me about my manuscripts to figure out that I was too gullible. And gullibility is not a good characteristic for a writer like me to have. Now, despite what my oversensitive English teacher claimed, people did take drugs in the 1800s. Opium was a, I guess a medicine of choice, and Lewis Carroll possibly, probably suffered from migraines. If a Carol had migraines and partook of a bit of opium for relief, I mean, you know, or maybe just for the heck of it, then maybe, just maybe, Alice's adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass were inspired by more than imagination. Now, to me, it doesn't matter. It's not like opium or cocaine or marijuana or, or they're, they're not exactly performance-enhancing drugs when it comes to writing. From my, uh, I mean, my, <clears throat> from my friend's experiences, taking certain brain-altering substances can uh, limit creativity rather than enhance it. It uh, usually slowed down my, uh, my friend's thought activity. Some of my uh, friend's hallucinations were cool, but nothing to write about. Now, now to unimaginative people, an act of creativity can seem drug-inspired. I mean, I get that, you know, giant living playing cards, a grinning cat that turns invisible, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, Jabberwocky. I mean, no, no normal person could come up with that stuff without hallucinogenic encouragement, but, uh, but creative folk can do that in their sleep or, you know, sometimes while completely awake and alert, taking a dump, I'm a walk uh, in the shower, come up with stuff on a daily basis. Now, some creative people do resort to drugs. Uh, what's that guy's name? Aaron Sorkin. He has a reputation, had a reputation for uh, cranking out a <laughs> crank. Uh, anyways, putting out a lot of material while he was under the influence of something other than alcohol. I mean, maybe one morning he cleared his mind and read his dialogue and said, I know these characters are witty, but they talk so fast I can't understand a word they're saying, and plus they're kind of pompous. And maybe, just maybe, Lewis Carroll recovered one morning from his dazed and confused night of opium-inspired writing, stared at his parchment, and you know, exclaimed, the hell's a vorpal? Now, don't answer that question. If you answer that question, you're part of the problem. Now, if Lewis Carroll wrote anything under the influence, it probably wasn't Jabberwocky, because Jabberwocky was a poem. You know, it was a tightly designed poem. If Jabberwocky had been written in free verse, then uh, maybe... I could have believed Carol had been hallucinating, but it's, it's tough to write rhyme with a consistent rhythm and be nonsensical at the same time. It was a calculating mind that uh, composed that nonsense. Now, unfortunately, my oversensitive English teacher seemed too afraid of the drug topic to uh, state this to the class. All right, so what do you think? Do you think Lewis Carroll was really on drugs when he wrote Alice in Wonderland and uh, Jabberwocky and stuff like that? Or do you think stuff like opium and you know other stuff um, inhibits creativity rather than enhances it. Leave a comment below, and that's it. That's all I have. If you like the video, watch more videos or go to my blog, Dysfunctional Literacy, for more. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.